So welcome to part two of how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. At this point you should have one side completely solved and you should also have the top layer completely solved as well and in this video we are going to solve the rest of the cube. And throughout the duration of this video we're going to keep the opposite of the solved side. Our solved side is white. We're going to keep the opposite side as the top side of the cube. And the opposite side of white is yellow. Not all Rubik's cubes are the same, but most of the time the opposite side of white is yellow. So we know that this side has to be the yellow side of the cube. And we know that these two pieces are in their correct positions and orientated the correct way, so we know that this side has to be blue since these two pieces are blue. We know that this this side has to be red since these two pieces are red, um, so on and so forth. All right. So what we're actually trying to do is actually get all of their pieces not necessarily flipped the correct way, but in their correct positions. Um, so what does this mean? Let's take a look at this piece right here. This piece has to be blue on this side because you know this side is blue. So we know that this side has to be blue. We know that this side of the piece has to be red since this is the red side of the cube. And we know that this side of the piece has to be yellow since the top side is the yellow side of the cube. And let's take a look at the colors of this piece. It is blue, red, and yellow. So this piece is actually the correct piece that needs to go into this position. It's just not flipped the correct way or orientated the correct way. So what we're going to do first is get all four pieces in their correct positions, just not necessarily orientated the correct way. And if you're really lucky, all four pieces will already be in their correct positions, but most of the time that does not happen. Um, so let's take a look at how many pieces are in their correct position. All right, we already know that this piece is in its correct position. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at this piece right here. Um, this piece um, needs to be red, green, and yellow, and it is red, green, and yellow. So we have two pieces in their correct position. Um, this piece is definitely not in its correct position because it has blue and orange, and this is green and orange. So we have two pieces that are in their correct po or correct positions, and we have two pieces that are not in their correct positions. Um, just trust me on this one. Both of, both of these are not in their correct positions. And that is bad. All right? What we want to do is we want to get just one piece in its correct position. So I'm going to rotate this top side so that only one piece is in its correct position. All right? And at this point we do only have one piece that is in this correct position. It's actually orientated the correct way as well. This piece needs to be orange, blue, and yellow, and it is orange, blue, and yellow. So we have one piece that is in this correct position, and now we have three pieces that are not in their correct positions. Okay? And at this point, what you want to do is you want to rotate these three pieces so that all four of these pieces on the yellow side of the cube are in their correct positions. And when you do this algorithm, which I'm about to teach you, you want to keep the piece that is in its correct position in the bottom right uh, corner of the cube. All right, so the algorithm goes something like this. It goes top clockwise, right away from you, top counterclockwise, left away from you, top clockwise, right towards you, top counterclockwise, left towards you. All right, and let's see how many pieces we have in their correct position. Uh, at this point, we still have this only one piece in its correct position, and these three pieces are still not in their correct positions. If this happens, you just need to do this algorithm one more time. Once again, we're going to rotate these three pieces. All right, so the same algorithm, top clockwise, right away from you, top counterclockwise, left away from you, top clockwise, right towards you, top counterclockwise left towards you. And I just got really lucky. Um, all four pieces are orientated the correct way, so we actually solve the cube by doing that. That This normally doesn't happen. So I am going to just scramble this cube up a little bit so that all four pieces are in their correct positions, but not necessarily orientated the correct way and solved. All right. Okay, so at this point, if you didn't get really lucky like I did earlier, you should have at least have all four pieces in their correct positions like I have right now. All right, this piece should be green, orange, and yellow, green, orange, and yellow. This piece needs to be 
green, red, and yellow, green, red, and yellow. So all four of these pieces, just trust me, are in their correct position. And whenever you have this done, you want to place the, if there's any piece that's orientated cor the correct way, like this piece is right here, you want to place that in the bottom left corner of the top side of the cube. And at this point, you need to perform a short algorithm that you think is actually going to mess up the cube, but just trust me that we're actually going to solve it when we do this. All right, so the algorithm is going to go something like right counterclockwise, downside to the left, right clockwise, downside back the other way. And you want to com complete this algorithm until this piece is orientated the correct way. So we're just going to keep doing that, you know, that same algorithm. We're going to go right, down, right, down. Okay, so now we, we did the algorithm again, and now this piece is orientated the correct way. So at this point, we can just rotate the top side so that the next piece that's not orientated the correct way is in this position, and we're going to do the same algorithm. Right, down, right, down, right, down, right, down. Okay, now this piece is orientated the correct way. Now we need to do it for our last piece that's not solved. So I'm going to rotate this top side so this piece that's not solved or orientated the correct way is in this position. And the algorithm goes right, down, right, down, right, down, right, down. And at this point, you should have the cube completely solved. We just need to rotate the top side 180 degrees. And congratulations, we have just solved the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to tackle something a little bit more difficult, feel free to look at my 3x3 three three tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed these videos, and until my next one, I will see you later.